Howdy, this is Sarah Rosenbaum and I will show you how to make elephant toothpaste. This demonstration shows the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide catalyzed by iodide ions to show the evidence of a chemical reaction. Now after the demonstration, I will show you how to calculate the bond energies of each species and to calculate the total energy change. So we're gonna start off with one eighth cup of hydrogen peroxide. Put it in our beaker. Then we're going to add just a squirt of dish soap and food coloring because who doesn't love food coloring? You know, we're not lame up at A&M. A little more, perfect. Now, our next step is in a separate container. We're going to do half a teaspoon of yeast, dry yeast, and then we're going to do about three parts to the yeast. Now we're gonna mix that up until it's completely dissolved. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to mix this up before we add the yeast. And now we're going to add the yeast and watch as the elephant toothpaste hopefully will be made. <laughs> Hi, this is after our reaction has just taken place. Now we are going to find the bond energy of each species in our equation. First, we are going to draw the Lewis structures and count and take note of each of the bonds present each. For our equation for elephant toothpaste for H2O2, we have two oxygen-hydrogen bonds and one oxygen single bond to oxygen. So two times the average bond energy of an OH bond, which is 467, plus the average bond energy of an OO bond, which is 146, this gives us 1,080. We must take into account that there are two moles of hydrogen peroxide in our equation. So we multiply 1,080 by two to get 2,160 total for our reactant side. Now for the product side, we have an H2O molecule, which is made up of two OH bonds, plus an O2 molecule, which gives us an OO double bond. Again, we need to multiply the total found for H2O by two because there are two moles of it in the equation. So really we have four times 467 plus 495. This total adds up to 2,363. To find the energy change, we take the total energy of the reactants minus the total energy of the products that we calculated. So for the reactant side, we have a total energy of 2,160, and for the product side, we have a total of 2,363. So to calculate the energy change, we subtract energy in, reactants minus energy out, which is products. This gives us 2,160 minus 2,363, which equals negative 203. This is the enthalpy change, and since it's negative, the reaction to make elephant toothpaste is considered an exothermic reaction.